All right, after I posted my last video on uh, papayas, the male and the female, uh, my buddy over at Permaculture Homestead pointed out that there are hermaphrodites. Yes, there are hermaphrodites. If you look, this is a hermaphrodite. We have the female flower right here and the male stem, which will give us female fl or male flowers here. So this has both the male and the female. I treat these as males because my goal is genetic diversity. I don't, I want many females for every male. So what will happen is we get cross pollination. The hermaphrodites are self pollinating and that doesn't lead to any genetic diversity. So I treat these as males, even though technically, yes, they are both. These will give us male, or these will give us fruit. But they also give you less fruit than you would normally get from a female with male pollination. That's why I don't really care much for these. They will work. And if all you have is a small yard with two or three papayas, by all means. But I've got acreage here. My goal is strong genetics that will work here on this site and I don't want self-pollinating plants so I again treat these as males <clears throat> thin them out and we will uh, replace this with a female at some point but it will give us fruit but it will give us less fruit than a female will as well so in my in my opinion and again my opinion is that you're better off having male and female for the genetics. We want better genetics. That's why I don't really talk about them much. But there's an example. We do have them. The male and the female on one tree. So you can use these. I just choose not to.